acceleration and pace two attributes that work hand in hand together but what if one team had acceleration of one and 20 of pace and the other team had 20 acceleration and one of pace well today i've not only put that into practice i've frozen the attributes so things are going to stay like that for the foreseeable we've got two teams two squads in today's experiment we're doing an attribute versus welcome back to the channel let's get into it and here we go then we have got colchester versus crawley now let's have a quick look at the teams colchester have got 20 acceleration and one pace all the players are at 165 current ability and every single player has got frozen attributes their hidden attributes are just you know they're all right they've I've just let them be just you know but what we've got here is we've got 20 acceleration and one for pace 165 current ability for the entirety of colchester and now if we go and have a quick look at crawley it's the flip reverse one acceleration 20 for pace and they have got exactly the same sort of breakdown now what's very interesting is if we look at the sky bet league 2 the season preview colchester are five to four on crawley are six to four on to win the league so there's not a lot in it there's not a lot in it at all but every single player in the media dream 11 in the positions that we've we've put them in of course are are all for colchester so straight away that's telling me that the game thinks that acceleration is more important than pace now of course I've simulated through to the end of this, but what we're going to do first, where are we? Let's go to Colchester. When do they play Crawley? We're going to attend the game against Crawley on the 9th of the 12th. So I'm going to quickly simulate through to that because I'm very interested to see what happens for those players. Because I'm very interested to see what it looks like in the match engine. So we're going to go and see it in the match engine. So in the power of editing, we are going to be there at the start of the game. Okay, then here we go. Colchester and Crawley pre-match. And there we go. There's all the mid journey faces. Don't they look phenomenal? So <clears throat> just so you all know, it is Colchester that have got acceleration. Crawley have got pace. And there's Colchester with a goal already. 19th goal of the season for Colchester already. I mean, they are at 165 current ability. These two teams are going to go up at a canter. They are going to go and fly through the leagues, to be fair. So what we're going to be doing is we will be going through bigger interval jumps than we have done on the channel previously. There's winger two. Across and it's 2 0. Colchester are 2 0 up. So apparently, so far, we're seeing acceleration is better than pace. And it's, it's Colchester again. They're just knocking it around. And the thing is, though, is because of the disparity of acceleration and pace, we're not seeing a lot of that evidence in this match engine, are we? There doesn't seem to be a lot happening. I mean, he did show him a clean pair of heels there with his one pace. 20 acceleration so he gets that one pace very quickly whereas the other guys with 20 pace they're going to get there very slowly and th th there was no pun intended either that one of the teams of course with no acceleration and high pace they would be crawling along there was no there was no uh, intention for crawly to be that pun it's just the way it's worked out a subconscious joke if you will still 2-0 as you can see, Crawley and Colchester are actually top of the league. You can see the league at the right-hand side when the game is not playing. I'll make sure that we get a flash up of it. And Crawley are actually doing better. That being said, this simulation is not canon because I've already simmed it. It's already happened. The save files are already there. We, this simulation is just sort of just for this game, really. I've literally just wasted a few minutes simulating to get to here just for you guys. Aren't I generous? So here come Colchester to make it three. Because what's going to be interesting is we're going to see how dominant or how important it is in the actual match engine. But in, in terms of the simulation, I wonder if it's going to be the same. Because on the last Football Manager, we did pace versus, like the fastest team versus the slowest team. And in the match engine, the fastest team were all over them. I think it was about 14-0 or something. We did Birmingham and West Brom. It was ridiculous, the, the scoreline. I think it was 14. It might have not have been 14. It was double figures, though. Or was it? I don't know. Anyway, but then when we, we did the actual simulation, no cricket scores like that. It was like even. And actually, the team with no pace did better. So, yeah, there you go. Here come Crawley then. Uh, Colchester again. It's, it's, yeah, there's not a lot to see really with this in the match engine. The pace has not shone through, has it? Or the acceleration, should I say. 
There is the acceleration. This has got to be three. It is three. The goalkeeper, I don't know what he was doing. Centre forward, two. With the goal. 3 0. Now you see the league table. Crawley are ahead of Colchester with a great goal difference of 20 more in terms of their goal difference. But in terms of this game here, not happening. Not happening at all. I mean, both teams are, are far and away, in, like miles clear of everyone else. I mean, if you look, I mean, it'd be interesting to. I'm going to have a quick look at the schedule. No highlights in this second half either. The match stats. Loads of possession for Colchester, 72%. Crawley can't even get on the ball. A highlightless second half. Can you believe it? 3-0 then. That's how it ended. 3-0. If we look at Colchester, their current schedule. So they're winning, yeah, 2-1s, 3-0s. Like, you know, it is what it is. If you look here, Crawley played 21-20. 7-0, 5-0, 3-0. They're, 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 they're doing a lot better in terms of Goal scoring. And they've scored 24 more goals. They've only conceded seven, whereas Colchester have conceded nine. Well, that's changed, hasn't it, now? Because Colchester has just won. So, yeah, there you go. That is it in the match engine. So, what we'll do now is the 9th of December, where we just saw it was 3-0 to Colchester. What was it in the actual simulation? Let's go through one season and find out. So, if we look here, then, the Crawley and Colchester did play each other. Crawley, Crawley and Colchester went up, of course, they did in the first season. Sutton was the only team that beat Crawley. Colchester were beaten by Crawley and Doncaster. Sure, they probably drew the other game. They did one all. There we go. So Crawley. Well, we already know it wasn't a 3-0 defeat for them on the 9th of December. Let's move down to the 9th of December. It was a one-all draw. That was the one-all draw. And yeah, there you go then. So acceleration and pace, as you can see here, it seems that in the match engine, acceleration is far better. But in the simulation, pace is a little bit better, which is very weird, isn't it? Very weird indeed, because if you look at the league table, 129 points for Crawley, 120 for Colchester. Now, we're going to go through and we're going to see them dominate in terms of their league performances. But 17 conceders for Crawley, 142 goals. That's 41 goals more. In terms of the award winners, the top goal scorer, Crawley centre forward three with 35. Crawley centre forward two with 28. But then Crawley centre forward one with 27. A clean sweep for the three strikers. And that's baffling because how have they even managed to play that amount of games? They don't play three up top, they play two. So they've been alternating and they've done very, very well indeed. Well, we're in League One. So that, what's the media saying this season? Because Crawley have just absolutely obliterated Colchester with the pace instead of the acceleration. And now the media is saying, yes, we think that that's going to be a better and more of a contributing factor in League One. And quite a few of the players are all for Crawley now. Well, what we're going to do at this point we're going to jump forward five years to 2029. So they should be in the Premier League and they should be, in theory, winning the Premier League, I would have thought, one of these two teams. They should be in the top four, these two, hands down. So let's go to 2029. Uh, so there you go again. Crawley beating Colchester to the title. And in terms of defeats, Crawley beat Colchester both times. It was 1-0. Only 82 goals for Colchester in this season with 27 conceded. 111 for Crawley, so they did brilliantly well. So going into the championship, there you go. Going into the championship, well, as you can see, Crawley going up as champions. But Colchester only managed to make it into the playoffs and did not go up in the playoffs. They lost to Leicester in the semi-final, who ultimately lost to Norwich. So there you go. So now, what do we do? The following season... There you go, Crawley and Colchester in there. So the following season in 26 27. They finished fourth. Oh my God. They finished fourth. Colchester can't go up. Losing to West Brom on penalties, four all. Oof. And so if we go to the league table and then the final season, and there we go. So 27 28, they did go up into the Premier League, which means in the Premier League now, we go back. And the first season that Crawley were in there, they were. Eighth, they finished. So fair play to Crawley. Then the following season, they finished third. Getting Champions League football in the process. They probably went and won the Conference League in, re in reality. And then they finished third again. Only two points off the pace of Man City and Chelsea. One point behind Man City, two points behind Chelsea. A very tight title race there. Uh, and Colchester finishing in ninth in their first season in the Premier Division. And that's where we are currently at present day. So Crawley, they of course have got a Europa Conference League to their name in 2028. They also got the Carabao Cup in 2028. Fair play to them. 
Any trophies for Colchester? Just the Skybet Championship. But it's interesting, isn't it? That acceleration and pace is having such a different... I've been getting it wrong, haven't I? I've been saying acceleration is better than pace. Pace is better than acceleration. Sorry. Yeah, I, have I been getting that wrong all the way through? So pace is proving to be better than acceleration because Colchester have got the acceleration and they're doing considerably worse. They did better in the match engine, but worse in the simulation. Oh no, I have been getting that right. Have I? I don't know. Look, this is going to stay in. So if I've been getting it wrong up to this point, disclosure, I've, I've sorted it out. Apologies. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. If I haven't been getting it wrong, then I apologise for wasting your time right now. So we're going to jump through now to 2035. I can see how the next six years are going on. But before we do that, if you could be so kind as to subscribe to the channel, it'd mean a hell of a lot to me. Thank you very much. So there we were. This is where we were last time at the first season in the Premier League. And the second season where both of them were in the Premier League, we had Crawley once again in third. Colchester finishing in eighth, getting Conference League football. Crawley then slipped to fourth in the 30-31 season, getting Champions League football once again. Colchester finishing in eighth, getting Europa League football. That means they've probably gone and won the Conference League, much like Crawley did. And then Colchester finishing in 11th, their worst season in the Premier League up to this point, I think. But Crawley's best as they've won the league by five points, beating Manchester City to the crown. And Colchester are now trying to close that gap, finishing in fourth on 75 points, but they were 21 points behind eventual, win eventual winners. That is, yes, once again, Crawley, two in a row. Can they make it three? No. They finished, they've finished. slipped down to fifth, which is very weird, but Colchester are down in eighth. So there you go. They've dropped to eighth. So Colchester have dropped to 8th, which is again quite disappointing really. And 34-35, the last one. Again, Crawley a few places ahead, 3rd and 8th respectively. And it's just one of those things, isn't it, that really Ace is proving much better in the simulation than acceleration. I didn't mention this at the start, but if you've been here before, you'll know the drill. I've, I've got these attributes frozen, I did mention that, but I've got these guys going to Saudi Arabia in 2045. I've got it valued at 50 million. I'm trying to push the boundaries for um, what... Uh, you can actually achieve in terms of finances because I've, I'm, I want to give the team as much finances as possible. I think we're going to go over the threshold though because they've already got a billion pounds. No Champions Leagues for Crawley. Unfortunately, they won the Europa Conference League and Colchester have won the Europa Conference League twice. They've won it there, as you can see, being Besiktas in the most recent final. No Europa Leagues for either team and of course, no Champions Leagues. Manchester City, Zinedine Zidane is in charge of Manchester City because Pep left to go to Inter Milan. Well, he actually went to Man uh, PSG and then he went to Tottenham and now he's gone to Inter. Gone round the houses, Matthias Darm, a.k.a. Thomas Tuchel's brother, left Bayern Munich to go to Man City and then went to PSG. Now Zinedine Zidane's in charge of Manchester City. Don't know why we're checking in on Man City, but we are. Well, they're the current Premier League winners, I suppose. But quite a few third places for Crawley and two wins. And as, you can, as you've seen, Crawley are considerably higher and better off than Colchester every single season. Colchester haven't done better than Crawley in a single season. In terms of trophies, they've not won as many. They've been behind them every single time. But in the match engine, it was a dominant 3-0 win. So it's very weird, isn't it? We've got two more stops, 2040, 2045. And then, of course, we've simulated on a little bit to see how the money comes in and how they do once all the players have left. So let's go to 2040 and see how we're getting on. But before we do that, should we go and have, should we see if there's a Ralph watch about? There he is. So Ralph, after Southampton, he went. He had unemployed until he went to Brentford in 2024. 20, he went to Brentford in 2024, and he was there till 2027. Then he went to Al Nasser, 27 to 28. Where he was there for a year. Then he went and became the manager of Israel, and now he's the manager of Northern Ireland. So 27, 28. What? How much was he getting? Thirteen thousand two hundred fifty pounds a week. Awful. Right, we're going to 2040. So yeah, last time we were here, yeah, 34, 35, as you can see, third and eighth respectively, as we mentioned. And yeah, because we saw Colchester had won the Conference League. They didn't win the Europa League the following season. They finished ninth, no European football. Crawley, four points off the pace against Chelsea, finishing in second. Again, wow. What's happened here? 14th for Colchester, Crawley, fifth Champions League football. And someone's won the Champions League there, I'm almost certain, because there's six teams getting it. wonder who it was. Was it, would, would, could it be Crawley? Don't know what's happened to Colchester. James McPike is in charge. Lots of sackings. Antonio Conte's been there. Mikel Arteta. Plenty of, uh, plenty of managers who've been sacked. Very unfortunate. Very unjust. Very unjust. Anyway, 
Uh, fifth for Crawley there, and in 37, 38, second in the league on goal difference. Losing out to Manchester United on goal difference. Conference League football for Colchester once more. And then Champions League football qualification. Champions League qualification again for Crawley. Finishing in second. Crystal Palace up in fifth getting Champions League football. Fair play to them. Colchester down in ninth. It's just a, there's just a world of difference between the two teams. And pace and acceleration seems to be the, the difference maker. Outside the match engine. Inside the match engine. Different story. Mental. And there we go, of course, the most recent season, Colchester now mid-table. Crawley second behind Manchester City once again. Man City still got Zinedine Zidane in charge. Crawley then have got Pep in charge. They do have a Champions League to their name. It wasn't in 2036, it was Man City who won it there. It was 2038-39 that Crawley won and they beat Barcelona. They beat, they beat Barcelona, but Pep's in charge of Crawley. I did not expect that. Scott Lindsay retired from management, so Pep, so Pep left Inter Milan and then came to Crawley. But I do like the fact that he's actually left Inter Milan. He was sacked as manager of Tottenham. That's so Tottenham, sacking Pep. He went to Inter. He's won Serie A. He's come back to Crawley. He's won their first Champions League in their history. Fair play. Reached top of the Worldwide Hall of Fame. Of course he has. Pep has. He's just... I mean, all the trophies at Man City and... P he went to PSG and won everything at PSG for a while. Won the uh, Champions League with PSG. Did he ever win it with Bayern? He won it with Barcelona in real life, of course. He won it with Man City in real life. He's probably won it with Man City in this experiment as well. Fair play to him. He's won the Champions League with many teams as Pep. And he's at Crawley for the last few years of this experiment. Well, we've got five more years to go. We're going to go to 2045. In terms of the media prediction and the season preview, we will just look third. They think Crawley are going to finish. Eighth, they're going to think. Eighth, they think Colchester will finish. And that's because that's what's really happened. I mean, Crawley have been maybe top three. Pretty much consistently, Colchester have been just inside the top half. You know, slight variables where Crawley have won a couple of leagues, maybe finished falling away a bit, just a bit. It's a bit of a bit of a bit of a difference here and there, but yeah. So five more years, the final five years. Let's go to 2045 and round this off. But we know Crawley have won it. Yeah, 39, 40. We were second and tenth respectively, and then 40, 41. Of course, Pep went and won the league with Crawley if he was still there. Uh, Colchester finishing in 10th. Then 6th for Crawley getting Europa League football. Not great. 11th for Colchester. 5th and 8th respectively for Crawley and Colchester. Never have Colchester finished ahead of Crawley. 4th and 10th once again. Conference League football for Coventry finishing in 15th. Interesting. Newcastle getting relegated. See, every, every time Newcastle seems to get relegated, just spot it. I don't know what it is. I did this in another experiment the other day. Don't know what's going to come out first, this or the other one, but who knows? Whatever. Newcastle getting relegated again. Crawley, 44-45, the most recent season. The last season, Crawley have won the league. Colchester finishing in 7th, getting Europa League football. No one getting Conference League football. Not sure why that is. Uh, Everton getting Conference League football back here, sorry. So someone is getting Conference League football. It's a Carabao Cup win, Everton. Nine points deducted from Everton. Administration, financial irregularities. They've got 10 points in real life. They've been, they're safe there. Fair play to them. They would have been on 46 points. They'd have been up in 13th if that happened. So to Crawley, Marco Rose is currently the manager. So... So Pep got sacked. Crawley sacked Pep. Are you fucking joking? So after he, after a glittering career, Pep Guardiola, he won their first Champions League. He won the Premier League with them. I mean, they'd already won it a couple of times. God knows what else he won with them. FA Cup runners up, finished second in the Premier League in 38 and 39. Champions League winners in 39. Carabao Cup winners in 40. Second in 40 in the Premier League. Uh, Premier Division champion in 41. Manager of the Year 41. Community Shield winners 41. Sacked in 42. And that was the end of his career. That was his final act as a manager. He was unceremonious sacked by Crawley after they'd won the Champions League and League in a couple of years prior. That is disgraceful who swore then. That is disgraceful, Crawley. And you, you see that managers never getting sacked in some of these. Like some of the crap managers from lower leagues where they're just ruining some of the wonder kids. They just don't get sacked. What's happened here? So who came in then? Vinicius Jr., who's now currently an unemployed manager. He was he was at Al Nasser as a manager after he was there as a player. He then went to Crawley as a manager and then he went to Manchester United as a manager. Sacked from both. The bid is in Colchester. Colchester won him. I was going to say, oh, going to a lower league team. Well, no, Colchester are actually in seventh. They're managerless. Why are they managerless? Because Jimmy J. Morgan has left to go and become the Manchester United manager where Vinicius Jr. has just been sacked from. James Ward-Prowse is the current manager of Liverpool. Was the manager of Colchester. 
Of course he was, because we're on the Colchester manager screen. Matty Everington, unemployed coach, caretaker manager, he was. Right, so, yeah, there you go then. So we know, basically, it's been all about um, pace is better in the simulation, acceleration is better in the actual match engine. In terms of the transfer embargoes for the team, the transfer embargoes are now about to be lifted. In terms of the actual players, they're all going to Saudi Arabia in 2045. Let's simulate on and see who did better post all these players leaving. So Cro Colchester in the we're arbitrarily we're in 2078 and Crawley have finished sixth and Colchester have been relegated so let's look in on Colchester shall we competitions they've won an FA Cup in 2070 they've won another conference league in 2067 and domestic leagues they've been back in the championship in the 40s when they lost all those players they did recover with all that money of course and they did get back into the Premier League again finishing mid-table lower mid-table they've been largely underwhelming that's been the story of Colchester in this experiment Crawley on the other hand in terms of competitions well he did go down into the championship they did manage to survive the first season they finished 17th they just survived then 46 47 they did go down then they won the championship the season after and it was 15th and then they managed to get back into the top half they have won the league in 65 66 they also won it in 71 72 so they've actually done very very well they won the fa cup in 63 uh, Europa League has been won a couple of times in 58 and 60 so yeah they've done the clean sweep they've done very very well have crawley and yeah, 71,000 capacity stadium built in 2071. Have Colchester got a better stadium? 31,000, 31,500 built in 2037 disappointing disappointing well yeah should we look at Ballon d'Ors so no one from Crawley of course was winning it because again Crawley or Colchester they weren't winning Champions League so as you can see Kylian Mbappe Erling Haaland Erling Haaland at PSG wow Erling Haaland went to PSG how much did he go for to PSG for that would have been interesting he went in 31-32 when he would have been what 28-29 30 ish well just look at that Um. so yeah Crawley did better pace was considerably worse in the simulation pace was better in the simulation than Excel Acceleration. acceleration was better in the match engine as i've already mentioned i hope you enjoyed this one ladies and gentlemen any suggestions at all for these sort of attribute breakdowns whether they be wonder kid style whether they progress and they move through the years and they improve in their ability or if they're locked at a club a bit like this any ideas any suggestions of how to make these a little bit better a bit more fluid i'm all is if i think it'll work then absolutely i'll bring it to the channel any ideas for any other experiments as well do please let me know while you're here please do subscribe like the video and all that good stuff leave a comment down below of anything that you want to talk about at all anything about I've missed in terms of this do watch this video wherever it's going because yeah hopefully it's going to be a good one youtuber suggesting it and it's what's best for you on my channel so yeah hope you enjoy if you've already seen it go and watch it again why not or go and watch something else on the channel but most importantly gang take good care of yourselves thank you for joining me and i'll see you soon